At about two in the morning, I woke up and it really literally felt like somebody was pulling my spinal cord out of my brain. It just was the most excruciating pain. She said it felt like she was looking through the ocean. And as a parent, you know, you're not really sure what that means. I couldn't move after that at all. So Jean got me to the emergency room. They did a spinal tap a few months later and that came out negative. We did do the MRIs. He said it's a cyst, a tumor, or MS. I went through a year of diagnoses and I went blind in my right eye. It was a long process. It was just very frustrating. About a week later, I saw my neurologist, told him, you know, I'm questioning this MS diagnosis. I pressed my obstetrician to do the NMO IgG test, which he ordered for me. And they said, you have NMO. And I was like, well, what is that? Most of the physicians they talk to have never heard of the disease, let alone have an idea of how to treat it. I would be in the ER saying, you need to give me this, you need to give me that. I'm not trying to be a doctor. I'm not trying to step on your toes. Please just listen to me. Please, I know what I'm talking about. She was walking. And by the time that he would concede, she was blind in her right eye and she was a quad. At that point, I thought I was alone because it's like, well, nobody knows about this. Where do I go? That's one of the great things that the Guthy Jackson group is doing is trying to get better information out there. Linking patients up with each other and linking them up with a small army of physicians and scientists who are trying to figure these things out. The energy, the hope, the security that we felt. A sense of belonging so that you know you're not alone in this disease. They said, you know, have your doctor call us. If you can't come to us, they can call us. We will help you. They're relieved at the end to get a diagnosis and a treatment plan. At the same time, they realize that not very much is known about the disease. As patients have told us what the disease is, they have defined the disease as part of the NMO clinical consortium, we can uh, collect clinical information. Symptoms, feelings, things that you may not even associate with neurologic disease, as well as to get biological samples, blood samples for example, to study the science behind the disease. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind. I was going to give up my blood, whether, you know, I had to do it laying on the floor with them still, you know, or, or however it may be. And I know it's not something that may benefit me directly, but it's helping out the greater good. By partnering up with our patients, by making a commitment to them to do rigorous science, and then making a commitment to us to be involved in this process, we're going to be able to study new therapies in a much more efficient, much more streamlined process. So let's pull our resources, pull our knowledge, and really help each other. The researcher cannot work alone, the clinician cannot work alone, and we have to work together. This is more about creating something new that could not be created by any one person alone. Because it's a team now, and it's not just one person, one mother. The momentum that's been provided by the Guthrie Jackson Charitable Foundation will ultimately result in us getting significant answers. We are better off today than we were 36 months ago. And that is a very rare thing to say in medicine. And what I'm hoping for is that we'll have one of these game-changing moments in our ability to treat people with NMO. Yeah, definitely a lot of hope. I just hope it will come fast enough. Telling people, get on it. Get your blood drawn for accelerated cure. You, you have to. Because we all have a part in this disease. So am I optimistic that this collaboration is going to lead to further greatness? Absolutely.